My ex-wife is pregnant and she just let me know that she's ready to start the life that we always wanted together. I am in shock. Seven years ago, I walked into a coffee shop and it changed my life forever. I had the exact same order and the exact same name used for my coffee as a woman that I thought was going to be the woman I spent the rest of my life with. We ended up hitting it off and going on multiple dates, all the way up until us getting inside of a relationship with each other. The relationship grew and grew and grew up until I popped the question and asked her to be my fiance. During the entirety of our dating, I talked to my significant other about the fact that I wanted kids, a big family, and she obliged saying that she wanted the exact same thing. A year after we got married, I realized that we were financially in a space to take care of a child mentally, physically, and emotionally, and we were starting or should be starting to build our family. We tried for months to have babies. I'm talking about tracking cycles, making sure that everything was around the same spot. We ended up going to the doctor because it got to the point where I felt like I was shooting blanks. We were trying for babies so much that I was like, there's no way you can't be pregnant. This is ridiculous. There must be something wrong with me. I ended up getting checked out. Nothing was wrong. She ended up getting checked out. Nothing was wrong. So we set up another chance to try it. But then one day, my neighbor comes to me and she is mad and I'm sitting like, what, 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 what you got going on? She is mad because she says that my wife and her husband are cheating on us with each other. And I was like, there's no way there's, there's no way possible. So she's like, yeah, they are. And I have proof. Look. And she shows me a plan B. And I'm like, no, nah, <laughs> what? My, my wife wouldn't, wouldn't cheat on you. And then I started to think, no, my wife wouldn't cheat on me with this man. Why would a plan B be in their trash can? Is my wife taking a plan B and putting it in their trash can? We're trying to have, we're trying to have a kid. So I ended up confronting her about the situation that blew up our pretty much whole neighborhood because his wife went on a tirade going from house to house to apartment to apartment trying to figure out who her husband was cheating on her with and her husband wasn't even cheating. My wife was just throwing the plan B's away inside of their trash can. I was devastated. I was shocked. I, I didn't know what was going on. And then my wife confirms to me, well... It's because I don't think I ever want to have kids. And I'm like, what? So I am shocked. I am hurt. I, I, I don't know what to do. I'm sitting here like, why, why do you feel this way? I thought you wanted kids. And she said, one of her coworkers at her job had got pregnant and everything about her life changed. Her body started to droop in places it wasn't supposed to droop. The postpartum depression was extremely difficult and she had to deal with everything by herself because her boyfriend, not her husband, her boyfriend had decided he didn't want anything to do with the baby and he just upped and dipped and she did not want to be in a situation where she was pregnant, helpless, and I was going to have all the autonomy to just leave i looked at her with a straight face and said do you really think i would do that like do you think that i would leave you if you got pregnant and she says i don't know exactly how my body is going to uh, affirm or what's going to happen so i'm scared and i said so were you lying to me all of these years we're, like we're trying to have kids like I, I went to go get checked to see if i was shooting blinks and and the whole time you was just taking plan b's she put her hand inside of her face and started crying and said, yes. At that point, I was like, do you love me? She said, yes, I think I do. You think you do? You married me. And she says, yes, I love you. I just don't know what's going to happen with our future. Us being married. So I talked to her then and there and I was like, we got to do marriage counseling or something because this is, this is ridiculous. She then says to me, even if we get marriage counseling, I don't think I'll ever want to have a kid. I don't think I'll ever want to bring another life into this world. I want to have a big family. I want to have a lot of kids. That's something that I've always been close to my heart and something I've always wanted to do. So when she said that, I just dropped full of tears down my face because I realized that the love of my life 
had been lying to me or something had changed to make it so that what we wanted for our futures were so distant from each other that it wasn't going to work. We ended up filing for divorce and splitting everything up because we didn't have any kids. The assets got split up kind of evenly and we were just renting the places that we were. So it was just a clean split. I was completely devastated and I decided to try to move on with my life. Try to decide to find somebody that I could spend the rest of my life with that wasn't going to lie to me. And it took a while. It took me going to therapy. It took me building more self respect, more boundaries. I had to get back into the dating game. Didn't understand none of it. But I ended up finding somebody that I could spend a good couple of weeks with. After a lot of therapy and a lot of searching, I actually found somebody that I realized I could spend the rest of my life with. But three days ago, my ex-wife showed up at my apartment and I was I was in shock. My girlfriend was there and she was like, who is this? And I said, wait, let me let me go talk to him right quick. So I went outside to have a conversation and it was just the most ridiculous thing in the world. She legit said that she had ended up getting pregnant with one of her flings. The fling didn't want anything to do with her and the baby and asked her to get rid of the baby. But she remembered that I wanted to start a family. And she remembered that I was the person that um, encouraged her and told her that she would be able to be pregnant. So she's going to go through with the pregnancy. But because of what I said in the past, she wanted me to be the father of the baby. My girlfriend heard that from outside and legit, I thought she was going to sit on the sofa. She did not. She was at the door. She busted out that door so loud and crazy. I had to hold her back. I was like, whoa, 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 whoa. Like, because I can understand being mad because I was mad. I can understand being frustrated. But my girlfriend was mad at me because I wasn't as mad and frustrated at the situation. No, I did not want to take my ex-wife back. No. I did not want to have a family or build anything with my ex-wife now, but I did in the past. What I was thinking about in the situation was, did I need to call a psychiatric like facility or someone? Because obviously she done lost her mind and I was just stuck inside of the situation. Not that I was going to pick up my ex-wife, but I just wanted to know how exactly to help her get over what she going through because she she legit going crazy my girlfriend told my ex to never come back around there again told him to leave me alone forever called her all different types of crazy and out of her names and i never seen her even act like that but her to do that in my defense really really made me realize how it is to be loved and cherished inside of a relationship and to have somebody that's there for you so i had to go ahead and just leave it alone but but after that we ended up i believe two months later getting pregnant and i'm about to have my first child coming up in the next three days i'm happy about the situation but i don't know am i the a-hole for just not caring about my ex-wife and just letting her be a single mother by herself even though we had a lot of relationship in the past